Mr. Trump, at the State of the Union, the president pointed to a guest who was a Syrian refugee, you might recall, whose wife and daughter and other family members were killed in an air attack. Now, he fled that country seeking asylum here, ultimately ended up in Detroit, where he's now trying to start a new life. The president says that that doctor is the real face of these refugees and not the one that you and some of your colleagues on this stage are painting that you prefer the face of fear and terror, and that you would refuse to let in anyone into this country seeking legitimate asylum. How do you answer that? It's not fear and terror, it's reality. You just have to look today at Indonesia, bombings all over. You look at California, you look frankly at Paris, where there's a, the strictest no-gun policy of any city anywhere in the world and you see what happens, 130 people dead with many to follow. They're very, very badly wounded. They will, some will follow. And you look around and you see what's happening. And this is not the case. When he introduced the doctor, very nice, everything perfect. But that's not representative of what you have in that line of migration. That could be the great Trojan horse. It could be people that are going to do great, great destruction. When I look at the migration, I looked at the line, I said it actually on your show recently, where are the women? They look like very few women, very few children, strong, powerful men, young. And people are looking at that and they're saying, what's going on? You look at the kind of damage that two people that got married, they were radicalized, they got married, they killed 15 people, and actually 14, going to be probably 16. But you look at that and you take a look, a good strong look, and that's what we have. We owe 19 trillion dollars, our country's a mess, and we can't let all these people come into our countries and break our borders. We can't do it.